Now, Anko is all fun and all, but what if you want to design your layouts with XML? Say you're used to XML, you like it more, and you want to do with XML. And I agree with you, XML is a lot easier to build your layouts with. A lot easier for that because I'm so used to it. And I want to develop with XML and convert them to Anko. I don't want to be programming in Anko, I want to develop it in XML because it's a lot easier for me and maybe it's a lot easier for you. So there is a plugin for that and we can go to plugins, actually see them, but um, the Anko supports plugin here actually doesn't work in, in Android Studio. You have to download it from GitHub. And um, uh, there was this nice person on GitHub um, over here, and I'll put this, this link in the description, but um, there's an issue here, and there's a plugin here, and you just um, download that. You download that, and then just go into plugins, and then do install plugin from disk, and then put in the, the plugin from your downloads. And then we start, I already did that. Um, you also have to do the, the compile statements in your dependencies, um, all of them, all four of them, and put them into here. And I'll show you my version, my version 0.10.1 as of right now. Uh, and then go into your XML. And then you can design all you want, you know, wrap content. Uh, what else? On the bottom. Horizontal. There we go. And get rid of that update thing. Uh, now to, now for Anko, it doesn't support, um, it doesn't support the new constraint layout as of right now, but it will in the future. Um, so we have to use relative layout, linear layouts, and everything. I usually use relative layouts. Uh, I used to a lot. I still think relative layout is a very powerful. Constraint layout would kind of get rid of it a little bit. Um, um, a little bit but um, relative layout is pretty good. So you just do shift twice, so shift, shift. And then do... Push for Anko, and I'll make it better. Just do convert to Anko, so convert to Anko layouts. Now, if you install the plugin through Android Studio, if you click this, it won't work. Some um, uh, some file um, uh, wasn't inserted in, um, into there when they put the plugin in. Uh, for some reason, someone has a plugin into GitHub in their comments, as I showed before, right here. Uh, Sergos has it and we can do that one. Look for it to Anko and click that and automatically converts to it. Now it it puts it to this weird class. I don't use this class. Uh I just copy and paste it. In a very basic sense I just copy and paste it. Uh and I just put it in there. And then I just import everything. I don't have imports, um, auto import on. I felt, I feel that it's more of a pain than uh, anything else when you do auto imports, but uh, delete that. Now I usually put this in, in a different class, but so I put this into another class like, um, like a layout. And then class layouts. And then I put it in there, but but we're not we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna put it in here so it's a little easier. And now we just play it. And this is so I'm a perfectly fine. Now, now Anko is a lot faster than XML. That is the reason why you want to do Anko DSL, because it's a lot faster. Not exactly for you know the the ease of use because this definitely for me at least isn't easier for me i like the xml better i think it's a lot cleaner but that's uh your opinion everything so so it worked fine it worked perfectly fine exactly the same 
and that's how you convert XML to Anchor.